guys, Martin here and welcome to part 3. Uh, in part 2 we just um, created this DNA strand and a little bit of a camera move to match and we textured the little text which is on top of here to show it, it's this. Um, now we want to make this scene a bit more lively so we're gonna add a few more uh, DNA strands so let's just duplicate this a few times command C command V or control C control V on Windows and let's get out of the camera and we're gonna move this, these around um, and just place them at random just checking the time I have okay and I'm gonna go with this one pretty close to the camera So let's see what happens. Yeah, it comes by here. I might just want to move it a bit closer. Maybe rotate it a bit. Yeah. And move it closer yet again. Let's see here. And it's, it's kind of blocking the view from the tutorial, so let's just move it down an inch, an inch, so we can see it through the camera, yeah, and just a bit, just like that, and we can see it. Okay, um, in rendered view it looks like this, and we're going to add a depth of field effect uh, later on, so this will be blurry. Um, for the third... Uh, DNA strand we're going to go way in, way back not too much but quite a lot still um, let's just see if you can still see it uh, we actually have more room than that so we're just gonna move it to the side more quite a lot and we're gonna alter this one quite a bit so um, let's make the step rotation H a bit more drastic and move the z-axis even more so it stays sorta of in a straight column rotation P uh, let's just do that and add a lot of more to the count so we got this crazy uh, DNA strand going on right here it doesn't even look like DNA anymore but yeah it doesn't it, it, it's kinda too much off so let's um, turn this down and maybe just uh, pull this back out ah, look now we got the classic DNA shape again um, yeah with the cloner object it might deform uh, it a little bit so you gotta be careful with that and uh, let's add just a bit more so we got it from top to bottom. Oh, that's look. Oh, that's looking pretty good actually. Let's go into the camera, turn the auto key frame up. I wanna start it. Oh, oops, just like that. And let's see what that looks like. That's looking good. Turn off the auto key frame. It's it's just something you ha you'll have to remember. Um, it might it might still look a bit off, but uh, yeah. It doesn't really matter that that much. Okay, let's turn play off. What else can we do with this? So um, we should animate the center strand just a bit. So let's make the offset. Um, let's put it to 11. Uh, you know what? Let's make it 10. Go to the first uh, to where you first can first see it. Excuse me. And Let's take the count to this and make uh, yeah let's put the, put the count to one and set a keyframe and a keyframe then go four to frame 60 now let's make it where well, you can just see tutorial and put it to 11 just add another keyframe And uh, let's animate these values as well. So just add a keyframe to all of them. There we go. Nice, add keyframe. 
Now we're going to go back a bit. It's looking pretty good. And let's make the rotation of this a bit. Uh, let's, let's turn everything to zero, shall we? And bada bam. Just like that. And we're going to set a keyframe for all of these, for all of these as well. And let's see what happens here. That's that's actually looking pretty damn good. Um, it's not really um, easy easing uh, easy easing out, but that doesn't really matter. It, it's it's looking pretty good as is. So um, I'm not gonna tweak this setting a bit anymore. These these are good. Okay. Um, we might we might just want to do the same for the background objects. Um, let's let's just move these around a bit since. Uh, my time of part three is running out, um, and I actually wanted to keep this in a, in a three parter. So um, let's take this cloner object and uh, first go forward because we want it like this, I guess. Uh, let's go to the 80 frame and let's make it a bit more wild, shall we? Uh, not too wild, but pretty wild. Just move this like so, and this this is looking pretty damn weird, but I actually kind of like it. <laughs> but nah, this 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 isn't what we're going for. So let's just mess with these settings a bit till we see one that actually works. And this this is this is always a bit guessing to see what works and what doesn't. Um, some yeah, here we are. <clears throat> Making this a closer to zero value um, makes it work work better actually. So let's move this a bit down like so. There you go. And let's keyframe all these settings once again. <clears throat> So here we go, um, and let's move back to frame zero, and we're gonna put. Let's just say we're gonna make these values go to a bit of extremes, just for the fun of it, just like that. And make this there, and we're gonna keep. The, I'm gonna keep the middle one. So here we go. Let's see what that looks like. Well. Uh, I'm I'm not not really impressed by it. Let's just move this back to frame 50. Try that again. It's it's a bit too much, don't you think? So let's go to frame 50 right here. No, let's go to frame zero. And go out of the camera because this is way over the top. So let's put this one down. Oops, that's way too much. Put this one down. Put that one down and rotate. And I actually got some. You can get some pretty cool stuff out of this, but we're not going for that. We're going for for um, a DNA kind of look. So, um, yeah, let's just. You know what? Let Let's try this. I, I'm just curious what stuff will look like. Um, I've only got a few more minutes left, but this is this is just trial and error most most of the time. So yeah, that that's actually looking pretty good. Let's just turn off the selection, and I'm gonna leave the third strand as is because um, to have something move that much in the foreground is not really pleasant, and it's it's looking pretty good. As we're speaking, it's it's not not perfect, but good enough. So um, in the last part of the tutorial, I'm just gonna add some some uh, final lighting, and then render it out and show you what to do with it. Uh, well, in After Effects. See you guys at part four.